huge updates have been released in the NBA Young Boy court case. This is now starting to look very terrible for his freedom. There's a high chance that he gets sentenced to 10 years in prison. We need to talk about this, so let's get straight into it. It was just announced by the court that a judge has now ruled NBA Youngboy to be too reckless and dangerous as a human being to be released into the free world. However, they will allow NBA Youngboy to be released on house arrest as long as there is in-home security living with him. Now, NBA Youngboy was indicted by a grand jury on March 10th. He was charged with one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, as well as one count of possession of a firearm that's not registered on the National Firearms Registration List. Now, due to those official charges, a judge deemed NBA Youngboy not suitable to be out on the streets until his trial starts. In the courtroom on that day, there was two photos of NBA Youngboy shown. In these photos, NBA Youngboy is seen holding a firearm while taking a photo with a minor, as well as sitting on a vehicle, recording a music video, flashing around a firearm that had a loaded magazine inside of it. So after the courtroom saw these photos, that is when the judge quickly denied NBA Youngboy's bond request, but instead gave him house arrest. Now, NBA Youngboy was arrested for these charges last year, and he was granted bail until the trial begins. And when the case was about to start, NBA Youngboy was told to go into jail, that way the trial can begin. But NBA Youngboy was a no-show to this event, meaning NBA Youngboy had a warrant out for his arrest. Knowing NBA Youngboy's priors and everything the law enforcement knows about him, they were not gonna take this lightly. This means that the FBI hopped onto the case for the search for NBA Youngboy. Now this search for NBA Youngboy started with the FBI looking over the streets near his house, having surveillance footage, recording his house 24-7, waiting for him to leave his property. Now NBA Youngboy hopped into one of his vehicles and started driving off of his property. This is when the FBI followed NBA Youngboy as Youngboy hopped onto the highway. When on the highway, the FBI agent signaled NBA Youngboy to pull his vehicle over. At first, Youngboy was listening. He pulled his car over to the side of the road as he was directed to, and when his car went to a complete stop, the FBI agent did the same, and once the FBI agent's car was at a complete stop, NBA Youngboy ended up flooring it down the highway. When flooring it down the highway, they started a high-speed chase. NBA Youngboy ended up running into some traffic, which made him turn onto the regular streets. Now, while on the run from the FBI, NBA Youngboy, for whatever reason, ended up pulling his vehicle over and hopped out of it, starting a chase on foot. NBA Youngboy was sadly caught in the process, as he was originally arrested in the fan's backyard. Now this is one you cannot make up. While running from the FBI, NBA Youngboy hopped a fence and was sprinting through a fan's backyard. There was a canine unit chasing him, as well as a helicopter up above, so there wasn't really anything Youngboy could have done. NBA Youngboy could have easily turned himself into jail when he was told to, but instead decided to get himself a completely new case with having a high-speed chase with FBI, as well as allegedly resisting arrest when he was caught on foot. Now, this is already enough charges to possibly have NBA Youngboy in prison for years. The firearms that he was recording with in the music video a year ago were taken by law enforcement and are currently being investigated still. If NBA Youngboy's fingerprints are found on this firearm, and if they can link any sort of evidence to prove that he owns it, he would be catching one to three years in prison per firearm that turns out to be his. Now the law enforcement would figure this out by obviously inspecting the firearm for fingerprints, 
checking through his phone to see if he made an illegal purchase for this firearm, or even looking up the serial number that are on all firearms to track back where it was sold. But the high speed chase with the FBI in a vehicle could have ended very, very poorly. There could have been innocent people involved, there could have been a whole lot of things that could have happened, but thankfully, nothing did. Now, law enforcement wanted NBA Youngboy and they wanted him bad. If you don't believe me, FBI even created a literal operation team strictly for NBA Youngboy called Never Free Again. This operation was created to put NBA Youngboy behind bars for 10 plus years for the crimes that he committed. Now this obviously starts from NBA Youngboy being arrested 14 to 16 times within the last few years. You can literally make a scrapbook with all of his mugshots, it's actually pretty crazy. Now when NBA Youngboy was told about the FBI having an enforcement operation team made for him called Never Free Again, he ended up releasing a very serious message while behind bars. This message said, and I quote, I can leave my kids millions of dollars to divide, but I can't give them the time they truly deserve. Nobody understands me, they never did. Sometimes I don't even understand myself, but that's fine because I'm okay. I'm not looking for you to feel sorry for me, but I do ask for one thing. And that is for you to let me suffer in peace and tell Miss Wendy Williams I say she has a good soul and that she's a beautiful woman. I can see through all of the bad comments thrown at her, tell her to count her blessings and stay in good spirits. Sincerely, NBA Youngboy. Now while the law enforcement are trying to lock up NBA Youngboy for 10 plus years, it's almost seeming as if Youngboy's lawyers has already gave him the rundown on how this court case will go. With NBA Youngboy, as I said, having 14 to 16 recent arrests in the last few years, the courtroom are not going to have any respect for NBA Youngboy. Not to mention, when NBA Youngboy was arrested two to three years ago, the judge in that court case told Youngboy to stay out of trouble and never break the law again, or else there will be serious consequences. As NBA Youngboy has done 14 to 16 crimes, but has never really gone to prison for a very long time. It almost seems as if every time NBA Youngboy breaks the law, he gets away with it almost every single time. So this time is gonna be different. NBA Youngboy will be getting sentenced to prison to finally teach him a lesson. And with NBA Youngboy getting sentenced to a long prison sentence of around five to eight years, that could be the end of NBA Youngboy as he'll not be able to create music for that time. But I'm very curious to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that NBA Youngboy will beat this court case, even though he was caught obviously doing a high speed chase from FBI agents? Let me know down below in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. It's been District Trending, and I'm out. Peace.